Ricky, five points in the A League and a really good performance tonight. Yeah, the first half, the half was outstanding. You know, we, we played some real quality rugby, and you know, to get get five tries in that first half and to, to really push us on was really pleasing. I think second half got a little bit scrappy. I thought Bath came back into the game and fought really hard and and deserved their points. We just took our foot off the gas a little bit there, which you know a very pleasing performance. And the boys put a lot of hard work in there, but it would have been nice to you know keep them yeah you know, keep their points down. But you know, a great result. Yeah, that'll bang us up the table now and obviously we're looking forward then to getting into training tomorrow, building into the weekend. A lot of chat before the game, Jack Knowles, first game back in a long while, uh, how do you feel he went? And also first game for Nico Matawalo, how do you feel he went? Yeah, I think you know, Knowles is a bit rusty, you know, he hasn't had a, you know, a lot of rugby in terms of training, you know, he's been coming back from his injury, so just to get him out there, get him you know, 50 minutes under his belt, I think was really pleasing for him. You know, I think he wanted to try and get himself in the game and, and had instances where he could, but um, it would just be good to get him on the pitch and you know, he's back up and running now and he can build from there. I thought Nico, you know, people have seen him before he came and signed for us, he's a massive ball of energy and you know, whether he was on the wing or at nine he showed that. I think you know, just got to tidy up a few things here and there once it gets used to our patterns and our structure and, um, and then just our little, you know, the way we run and stuff and our calls, I think you know, he's going to be really, really dangerous and he showed a couple of real lovely touches tonight to create space for other people and you know, um, I think the most pleasing thing is you know, his kicking game was strong you know, and that's an important part of a, a wing or a nine so really good start for him. As we saw on Friday night, the power of the driving more, we saw it again tonight in all its uh, glory and uh, three tries for Sean Malton from it. Yeah, and, you know, I think what we've been doing over the last sort of month now, it, you know, it is going to be coming into wet weather rugby. You know, we've talked a lot about it, we've worked hard on it and I think yeah, it's always been a weapon for us but I think we've really focused on that now and, and we're seeing the dividends from you know, Friday night you know, tonight. Yeah, we've, we've scored a lot of tries in previous games in the, the Anglo-Welsh Cup, so yeah, it's, it's a weapon that we, we've got in our armoury and it actually creates space for us elsewhere as well because they're having to stop that. We can look at obviously attacking other teams in other areas, so it's going well at the minute. As you saw the strength of the squad there today, seven internationals in that side, that says a lot about kind of players that are ahead of them at the moment as well. Yeah, I think the whole squad at the minute, I think over this, you know, after we came for a bit of a rocky patch in terms of our, our results, you know, the squad have really galvanised together and I think you know, as, a, as a squad of 52, there's players there that are pushing you know, right the way through for selection and just shows you know, the quality of the A-League side that we could put out tonight and you know, building into this weekend, the next A-League game will be strong as well. And, and what's it's allowing us then to put a sprinkle of the younger guys in. You know, Joe Alderkin came in from Truro College and you know, got on at 12. So for him, it would be a, you know, a great day for him. And um, AJ Kant, same, 17-year-old in there. So it's, it's a good tool to be able to blood those younger guys as well, I think. And as you said, it's put you in a, in a great position now. You win against Bristol in a couple of weeks' time and uh, you're in a fantastic position going into the new year. Yeah, we, the, the, the loss early doors you know, knocked us back a little bit, but what we've managed to do is, like you said, we've galvanised our A-League position. You know, we're scoring bonus point wins, which, is, which has been really good. And you know, we've got Bristol away. You know, they're, they're top of the league at the minute. You know, we, we, we've got a game in hand on them. But they're top, and we know it's going to be a tough game going there. So... You know, we're going to prepare for that and you know, we're, we're really looking forward to it. I think you know, Sam, Sam Simmons came in today from you know, some good performances for the Pirates and, and fronted up and there's been a, two or three guys there that have you know, really pushed themselves forward.